Now in the second task, we want to target measuring the efficiency. And to get the efficiency, uh, we should measure the, out, the, uh, the input average power and the output average power, and then we make a ratio. And to do that, we can, we can do that for the uh, full range of duty cycle, but just to make it shorter, I just want to make it for just one duty cycle. So I just want to uh, comment on this comment this one by providing a semicolon here okay and also make the duty cycle here just 50 micro so now we have just 50 percent duty cycle and the measurement of the output i have to measure now the power input and power output to do that i have to uh, get the equation for the power input and i think the power input equation is is from this source okay by pressing on alt key and going and uh, hover over this component but it doesn't show that thermometer uh, uh, icon here that means we have to run the simulation again so now after it finishes okay i think the output voltage is there okay so we can now just hover over this component okay and pressing alt key and click on this so we got now the equation for the power input and also similarly we can do that for the output uh, equation we got the output now so now let's now measure the first and second uh, power okay and then make an issue by by going to dot op and say dot measure power input which is the AVG average of between uh, the average of this uh, equation so now let's just copy that and after copying we have to say dot measure P input uh, AVG the value of this okay because V input times I, I, I of V input means uh, this is the instantaneous power okay so we have to get the average similarly for the output we copy the equation okay and make another measure dot measure power output AVG of this value and we got now the power input and power output and now let's do the uh, calculation of efficiency by providing another command and we can say dot measure okay the new parameter which is not defined before which is the efficiency okay and it equals power out divided by power input but we have to multiply it by a hundred so hundred times power out divided by power input and yes we have the equation there so i'm expecting now all these measurements to be available in the uh, this file spice error log once i finish the simulation so now let's try to do that and we finish the simulation now let's go to view spice error log and i think we will get just one efficiency so the average output voltage which is a uh, 25 volt because the due cycle is 50 percent the power input is 13 it's in minus because i think the current is opposite but it doesn't affect the ratio for the power output is 12.7 and the efficiency is not actually there i think we done a mistake that always happened i think it should be uh, efficiency and then the word param okay so that's i think will solve the problem i do all these mistakes often so that's why we have to learn by doing okay efficiency now we got the efficiency about is 96.48 percent which is quite high okay so this is how we calculate the efficiency now it's for you to change the atmosphere with different uh, properties maybe different uh, uh, rds on or you can replace it by igbt and see the efficiency for each because that uh, that mosfet now will change the switching losses and conduction losses for each component and that will uh, also enhance or deteriorate more the efficiency and also we can change that diode to be fast recovery diode or short key diode or rectifier diode very slow diode so that also will affect the efficiency 